Hello, welcome to our show, Embracing Your Design for Midlife Transformation. The tagline, Come Alive to Impact More Lives. As a tiny habits coach, happy for no reason trainer, and a gene keys guide, I invite soulful professionals to have conversations related to their life experiences, businesses, human design charts, and hologenetic profiles based on gene keys and ancient I Ching. Enjoy our show. Hello, welcome to my show. Today, I'm so honored and happy to have my friend, Chelsea Gilbert, to join me as my guest. Yeah, hi to everyone, and I'm super happy to be here and very grateful that we met and connected and that I'm able to do this with you. Chelsea and I uh, belong to a platform called Alignable. Uh, basically, it's growing the local community, the business professionals together so we can serve our neighbors even better. We have a monthly getting together and Chelsea came this month, <laughs> the early February. So we just connected. But I know we will have a fun conversation because we all passionate about human, the energy and how we can release the pain. So let me quickly introduce Chelsea Gilbert. Chelsea is very passionate about empowering her client. And she did body work too. Particularly, she is using a very fascinating uh, technique called myofascial release. So we'll definitely ask her about how she can use that technique to help her client. I would love to learn about your story. So it's funny, I was actually kind of going into this with one of my clients I had earlier because she was asking me how I got into it. Um, so I actually have always kind of been drawn to helping people. When I was younger, my mom, she um, she was in a lot of pain. She had some stuff mm -hmm. going on. Probably when I was around 11 or 12, she, you know, she'd ask me, can you rub my shoulders? Can you rub my back? And I would do it. And she's like, oh, that feels so nice. And I feel better. And I, just something kind of clicked in my head, like, I can help people feel better by just touching them. That is really amazing. Um, and so I've always really been interested in kind of like the sciencey medical side of things. So I started to do my own research and look into things and read books. And then um, the internet was there when I was that young, but it wasn't like everyone go to the internet and find this. So there was, I still had to kind of do a little bit of extra work, but so I really started looking into, you know, the human body, anatomy, things like that, how massage works, different techniques you can do just like basic massage stuff. Um, and so I would work on my mom, my dad, other family members, friends, fast forward to when I was, you know, 18, 19 years old, I ended up getting married and then I had a baby. And um, so I kind of went into the workforce factory warehouse sort of stuff for a while until after I had my third child, I was about 27, 28 years old. And I was just, I was pretty miserable with what I was doing in my life. I finally just kind of started taking steps and I ended up going back to school for massage. Mm. I did that for two years and uh, in massage school, you kind of just learn the basic uh, massage stuff like Swedish massage, deep tissue, some medical massage, things like that. But the program I was in was really good at explaining different uh, modalities of mm. massage that you can, after you get certified, you can go on and, um, you know, do different specialties. And I was really intrigued by John Barnes myofascial release. Um, just some of the things I heard about it, how people are like, this is amazing. I can't believe this work and just how powerful it sounded. And I'm like, I'm kind of interested in that. Two years after I was doing massage, I did my first Barnes MFR training in Fort Wayne. And it completely changed the way I approach massage. Um, mm -hmm. They start out talking very much about like the anatomy um, the components of fascia, how it ties in with different parts of the body. Um, and they're very diligent about explaining how it works. 
Um, and then they kind of go into the technique, but then they also talk about the component of like energy and spirit and mm. using your intuition. And that resonated with me so much. Um, and I was like, mm, yeah, this is kind of the direction I want to go. Um, so I've been doing MFR ever since I've since done, um, three other seminars. Um, I'm going to try to do another one at the end of this year. Ooh. And, um, yeah, that's kind of where I am now. It just kind of, it definitely led me down a road and I feel like I'm just kind of building on the skills that I have and the more experience I get with clients and the more I also utilize it on myself um, and kind of going through my own healing journey, I really see how effective and powerful it is to be able to tap into that part of the human body. I mean, that's just so thankful your mother ask you to do that <laughs> so you I, have early imprinting so oh actually i'm so powerful i'm mean, just helping my family members they all feel better and you feel good right because that <laughs> energy that feedback to you you just like hmm, getting more confidence in the way i think that's amazing because you are very tuned in to the calling i would say right even at the young age but then even you get a little bit derail <laughs> to do something not necessarily really aligned with you but but you you know that's how the life teaches we always made the wrong decision first those mm -hmm. kind of obligation coming in we just lower our in energy but we we will do it anyway do you have like some kind of turning points or any like the moment you just feel like you're exhausted and um, you don't know how to do do you have some kind of moment you like to share um I think it it very much feels like after my last pregnancy it kind of shifted some things for me um I think it just really kind of made me step back and look at where I was and um the direction I was going and the people I was surrounding myself with and yeah and I kind of went back to um kind of connecting spiritually with myself. Um, I started meditating every day, had some really interesting experiences, felt very connected. And yeah. I it just sort of, can, um, I guess, reconnecting in that way definitely fed some inspiration to me and gave mm. me to change what I was doing. And I, I know if I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have veered my path because I was, I felt so stuck and it seemed like such a hard mountain to climb to get out of where I was mm. uh, because I didn't have a whole lot of support. Like, you know, how am I going to do this? I, what I had to do basically was leave my situation, um, sign up for school, just not even knowing the plan. Not, I yeah. had no, I had no clue. I had no clue how I was going to get to classes, where the kids were going to be. I had no clue. I was like, I'm just going to do this and see how it works out. Mm -hmm. So I use a human design system as like reflection tool. So based on my energy flow, you know, I have a, like different chakras in my body. So energy flow would be certain patterns. Then everybody's different. So that's mm -hmm. a good thing because then we know we are unique. Right? If everybody the same and I say, then what kind of, differentiation factor I have I, I'm yeah we have share very similar genetic we are the the species as a human but in that level we have so many different levels to make us different than others so I feel like I don't need to fit in with anybody mm -hmm. you know, I begin to have more confidence as they see oh no wonder I have the feeling it's not something wrong it's just different and part of the system, there is a pesagram. It's an ancient I Ching. That's my heritage. Back to like 8,000 years ago, they're using the yin yan, the different um, combination, and because of six lines, so each one can have two different options. So together, totally 64 different combinations. It's really mm -hmm. just a mess. So we can base on our birth information and in, in the environment where we're born, that kind of a imprinting based on the moments we're born, then we create certain number 
imprinting, but actually follow that blueprint. You still have a lot of opportunity to make your choice. Mm -hmm. That's how the free will and free choice coming in. You know, every time we make a choice, then, then we have a different result coming from that choice. Before mm -hmm. I'm in the dark, right? I don't know who I am, what I am. I'm just constantly compare to somebody I know and say, oh, their success. I need to model the success. Without knowing myself, I'm not necessarily fit to really get that. I'm a genius in that side, not this side, <laughs> right? So once you have the tool, you become more of the aware about your your energy flow because everything's energy. If we mm -hmm. allow the energy to flow nicely, you know, aligned with our energy flow, then everything will be effortlessly. The comparison, the judgment, the uh, feeling I'm not good enough is not relevant anymore because there is nothing to compare to, right? Everybody's different. So you don't have the way to say, okay, um, if I want to be a better apple, I compare to the other apple. But maybe you are not the same kind of apple. It might be a green one, and they might be a red one. So why you compare <laughs> apple to apple, even as apple, but it's different way to express, right? The like different color. Um, so I using that one to really get myself in different perspective. And I believe that is similar like you do to using your intuitive to touch because when that energy got released, and all of a sudden, that pressure, you know, that pain used to be there. It's just not there. So I think that is amazing. You can let your client instantly feel something different. Yeah, it is it is amazing. I'm like so grateful and humbled that I'm able to help create that environment for them. Because it really is. It's their body. It's our everyone's body knows what to do. Like we mm -hmm. have the body to heal and be healthy, yeah. but you know, there's so many environmental things. There's things that happen to us through our lives that, you know, can kind of cause those energy blockages. Or if we're not, ex you know, living our, our purpose or doing what we're meant to do, that causes blockages. And uh, yeah. uh, I did notice uh, there, once I started doing MFR, like receiving it and doing it on myself, it, how, how it allowed me to become more aligned with what I'm doing. Um, and even when I started out, like the type of work I'm doing, the things I'm trying to do with like um, networking and uh, creating events and like doing all this stuff, like five years ago, I would have looked at myself and been like, I could never do that. But <laughs> you know, work on yourself and going inward um, and yeah. then like go, to a professional or getting some sort of service that allows you to you know unblock those things like mm -hmm. it's just once you get in the flow of it and you feel when you're in um your purpose or your you know what you're supposed to be doing in life it feels so different and it's a it feels it's easy it feels like easy flow <laughs> that is my pleasure to actually talk to you about your profiles and charts every time i read people's profile and the human design body graph i just like wow they deserve to know that they are all <laughs> genius and you are like me the generator mm -hmm. which means you will regenerate energy mm -hmm. then also you are like a giver your energy is giving out for somebody don't have that energy engine Mm -hmm. three other type the reflector projectors and uh, manufacturers if generator not really like flow with the energy they're frustrated they are, have some kind of blockage so the power of the energy getting lower so mm -hmm. other type couldn't get enough energy and also the frustration we send out um, we are all kind of connected in the energy field anyway then that mm -hmm. really create a heaviness yeah. about people around us. I said, ooh, Sunny is not good, better shut up. <laughs> so because they can all sense our energy, we are very strong. For generator like you, you also has a different profile. So you can mm -hmm. start to see, you know, four type of energy, but then you start to have 12 different profiles. So you start to differentiate it and your profile is for six. And that's based on the ancient I Ching got six different lines. So mm -hmm. every line has different energy expression. 
It's mm -hmm. nothing says who is better or who is not. It's just different. The one, two, three is kind of a like, if you consider it as a house, it's the first flow. Okay. And number three actually is up and down. So they are not really knowing where they want to go, but they explore. That's their, their genius because when they do that, they find more things and they can mm -hmm. share. But for you, four is the second flow of people. And you're mm -hmm. definitely like friendly server. So you're that kind of a warm and friendly mm -hmm. personality. But number five, they showing up as some kind of a fixer. So mm -hmm. when they open the window, people will say, oh, fix me. I need this. I need that. And they have to provide practical solutions. So sometimes they're easy to feel like tired. And number six is the person actually has a vision. They are on the top of the roof. So they might not necessarily engage. They actually provide more of the insights. They don't physically doing things, mm -hmm. but they share more of the wisdom. So based on that kind of analogy, you are the four and six, which means mm -hmm. it's obviously four is your doing parts. Later on, we're going mm -hmm. to be using the gene keys. And the doing part is your fault. I mean, you are building a community, you are in the field work, you learn things, you interact with people, you connect mm -hmm. people. But then your beingness, you're really the core, is the one to share, is the one to organize the event and let somebody to do their thing. But you are there to provide a space because you really just get people together and you're doing this kind of work. You're the teacher. You are sharing. Sounds like you are doing perfectly right. <laughs> right now you're doing a lot of hands-on because you want to, you know, expand your network and connect with the right people. And you also organize events and um, all those big things so more people can know what's going on and how they can heal themselves or do some kind of different way, right? Um, that's, that's your profile in the type. So I want to pause here. Is anything you want to add or have um, something you want to share? Um, I think it's very accurate. But like I said, five years ago, if you would have told me that, I would have been like, uh, no, <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> the I mean, like organizing events and connecting people and things like that, that is fairly recent. That's probably within the past year and a half, two years that I've really been doing that. And it's one of those things, like I said, you get in the flow of it and you're like, oh, this is easy. But I, I never really had like previous experience doing mm -hmm. it. I started taking steps to do it. I was like, yeah, I know how to do this. And it, and then I step back and go, holy crap, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I didn't, I didn't go to school for this. I didn't train for this. It just, mm -hmm. then I'm very drawn to doing things like that. And yeah. So you saying that, yeah, just probably in the past, like year, year and a half, I've really <laughs> yeah, yeah. dealt with that aspect of it. The six line, cause it's on the top that you did take a little longer for us to realize we have that potential. So we are um, going through life and doing something and learn the lessons. But at the same time, actually, we absorb the knowledge and, and the wisdom. We just didn't know we did until the right time. And then you start to unleash, you know, embody. I have medical biologist background since I'm in college. The first time I hear about this human design system has a gene keys in there as I Wow, that sounds very fascinating. You know, I learned about DNA, but I use it as a tool to clone genes. But I didn't mm -hmm. know what exactly um, this CC4 things align with our genetics about, right? Mm -hmm. So I learned more actually. Uh, now I understand the 64 different concoy portal or the gene keys, you got 64 mm -hmm. different keys, they all have a different frequency. Mm -hmm. And we can tune in to it, to the particular 12 of them. They are actually all aligned with a different solar, you know, planetary. And they mm -hmm. become kind of like the blueprints for us to navigate our 3D life experience. So mm -hmm. I get more deep dive. I say, this is fascinating because I can see my life in front of those numbers. They even 
can tell you <laughs> like 20 something, 30 something, 40 something, something might happen based on the profile. Um, wow. So I just get, it's like, I need to study this. So I'm the one for, so one person is really the magnified glasses, want to find clues and get everything in details. But when you more contemplate about the number, the different consciousness level, you start to actually communicate with yourself in a mm -hmm. genetic level. Yeah. So, you know, that's the very great spiritual tool because the spiritual for me is really connection to ourselves, to the body, to the soul. Mm -hmm. Right. So when we go to spiritual, it's not going outside to seek and the, to ask. It's mm -hmm. more like just knowing communicate in a way and try to flow with it not to against our body and body is like beingness we don't even know until we start to tap into it or communicate it or slow down like you say meditation then you start have more connections more insights coming yes. from your body right it's the activation sequences give us the clue about what we are here to do but it's not mm -hmm. our purpose until you connect with beingness. Mm -hmm. So the purpose is really you using the doing to go through challenges, learn lessons and align with your past. Then you finally align with your beingness by doing other things, just to slow down, you know, do the breath work and body work. Then you start to have some insight or realization about who you are and what you are. And that is the purpose. So the activation sequence is doing and being. Then the second set is called Venus sequence. It's more like the go back to how you grow up. Every seven <laughs> years, you have a different imprinting experience. Based on the lifestyle, based on the belief system, you have certain imprinting in our genetics. Last sex sequence is the pearl. Just like you mentioned so many times, once you get really love what you do and you got more of the flow mm -hmm. right so the pearl sequence is in the way for us to really align what we can put our talents our passion mm -hmm. all together and do things to serve others and feel great so that's the pearl sequence because jinky is a really different level of the consciousness the lower one we call it shadow is the default sometimes we have an insight that oh we are totally opposites and that's the city. City is an expression without a shadow. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? You know, shadow need a light. So yeah. light and shadows always coexist. Mm -hmm. Right? But it's just sometimes we are only see the shadow, but we didn't know lights on the back. <laughs> but <laughs> occasionally we will see the light somehow. But you need to do the gift in the middle. That gift is kind of persistent and and practice and then, mm -hmm. then you start polishing up more of the way to turn lights more other than see the shadow mm -hmm. so that three level um let us really knowing we can choose it's not have to work so hard to mm -hmm. get to the better self it's already there right we just need to change our perspective and look different way. So your life work, based on the genetic profile, you are the number 37. Mm -hmm. So number 37, the pair with the evolution key, number 40. Those two keys are the tribal communal support. Everything you do is connect community or connect people. That's make you who you are. You love to do it. You have the passion to do all that. But of course, when you're doing serving others, you always come with challenges. You are the server. But of course, when you're doing too much that, you might feel exhaustion. Like mm -hmm. you're always serving others. You fulfill um, other people, what they need. So you always run for them, you know, to get mm -hmm. that fixed or support, then sometimes you might feel you need more mm -hmm. support for yourself, right? <laughs> but that's the time you start to have the desire want to care yourself more. Mm -hmm. So that is what we call breakthrough. So the evolution is really for us to realize we are important. If we are out of the equation, everything we do is not there. Yeah. Right? So... 
evolution is to accept ourselves and love ourselves more. Breakthrough, and you get to um, your radiance key. That is the first key for the being. Um, is the most magical key in your profile because that make you feel happy and healthy. Mm -hmm. And for you, your default is inertia. That means you might have a little procrastinating when you're young. Anyway, that's <laughs> because... <I prefer> uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, you will find an area you just hesitant to move to it. But mm -hmm. you really go from that place become invincibility because you determine you need to take care of yourself. You need to mm -hmm. love yourself. You are the most important assets in your life, right? Mm -hmm. So you start to make the radiance start shining through. And when you decided you are the one need to be take care, then your purpose will flow to you. Mm -hmm. So it's not seeking the purpose. And once you accept yourself and you have fun, you just see yourself a different lens, then the purpose will show up. So for your purpose key is 16. The 16, mm -hmm. so when you're in the low vibration, we call indifference. So indifference is very low vibe compared to um, even lower than fear. Because mm -hmm. when you're indifference, you just don't care. Like if it's fear, you're still moving, right? <laughs> you still run away from the danger. But indifference just kind of like, so what? Right? Yep. <laughs> um, so in that point, you're, you have a chance to move to the... Um, mastery because once you got activated because your radiance key push you have more energy you feel like more um, energized and empowered you have more the lucidity getting higher right so you become more flowing in the way so this is your amazing profile star with a community serving others and all that but then once you decide to love yourself and get out the compromising, you choose your path, then mm -hmm. you become a master. That is sounds very reflective of things I've noticed and things that have happened. And um, since I, I guess, I don't know if it would be around like the time like that seven year shift or whatever, like after seven years or whatever, when I kind of started doing um, massage and going in that direction again, but it's, it's definitely been a journey and it did, it started with the massage and the serving others and things like that. And then um, I, once I did the MFR stuff, I realized I had to work on myself mm. because I don't, if I'm not good and I don't have, you know, things to give to others, then I'm not able to serve people in that way. <laughs> so when I started to kind of go down the path of massage, I started off by the serving of others. Um, and then that led me to realize that I needed to work on myself. So I started doing more self-care. Um, I went to therapy for a while and it definitely took me down a road of realization that I need to practice more self-love. I need to have boundaries and, and all that stuff. And it's funny, like even the, the journey that you talk about, like I can see bits of that reflected in every day. I can see myself going through, like, I mean, there's the big picture, but then there's like every day, there's a little bit of all of that every day. So that's thing to to kind of reflect on and go. Oh, this is this is the this is the part I'm at right now. Such a good way to um, put your talent together, and you have so many amazing keys. Mm -hmm. um, and the fifty five, fifty five is actually the year of a dragon key. So I don't know what's the correlation, but the fifty five is such an amazing key. It releases from the victimhood become freedom. So we live with the freedom after you give rid of that limitations. Mm -hmm. uh, that is your pearl. So your whole life will be just polishing up and become a free spirit person. Um, that is number six people see in the rooftop, right? You just observe, 
<laughs> it's a lot of insight to share. Yeah. <laughs> That's, and that really, certain things you say really resonate and I'll get, I kind of get body chills and oh, <laughs> like, like a little bit emotional come up and it's like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I can, I see that reflected in my journey so far for sure. Well, it is such a fun conversation. I wonder um, how people can find you or connect with you and, and learn about your services. So I do have a website. Uh, it's www.tjtbodywork.com. Um, and I have booking links on there. I actually just started offering um, short 30 minute consults uh, for people to come in and kind of talk about the type of work they need and kind of go over goals and things like that. Um, I really noticed a need for that, especially with the myofascial release, because so many people just aren't aware of what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like I need, need a little bit more time to talk about what it is and explain it. And um, there's like a little hands on demo in the consult, just so you can kind of get a feel for what it is. Um, and then uh, people can feel free to uh, call or text me as as well at um, 260-355-9002. That's just my uh, business cell phone. Um, and I'm happy to explain what I do or talk to people about connecting, whether it's they want to come in and get work done or um, they're kind of in a similar field as I am and they just kind of want to connect and see how we can like support each other or do any sort of events or anything like that. I'm open to um, meeting new people. So yeah, I hope um, we're going to unite all the people near Indianapolis and eventually maybe um, doing the, the larger area to just educate people. Again, I so appreciate you and thank you so very much for your work. Yeah, thank you so much and to connect with you soon. All right.